In today's video, I will show you guys how to design this Easter Judge Flyer in Corner Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So the source file for this design, I'm going to put the link for you guys in the description below to check it out. All right, so um, welcome to Corner Draw, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is change our size. And the size that I'm making use of is 1080 by 1050 pixels. So to change your size, come over to your property bar and select pixels and change it to 1080 by 1050. You can make use of any size you want, all right, depending on what you want to do. Now, the next thing we're going to do is bring in a rectangle tool and draw this way and change the size to 10. 1080 by 1350 and press enter on your keyboard. So the next thing we're going to do is press letter P on your keyboard. All right. So this is what you are going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is now I'm going to remove my block stroke over here and we will import the source files for this design. Don't forget, I'm going to put the link for you guys in the description below. Now I'm going to go to my file, so let's import. All right, so I'm gonna go to download and um, come over here and um, this. I'm gonna select all of this file. All right, so if you look, I have, um, I've included the names of the fonts for you guys just down here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this image I've taken out the background. If you don't know how to take out background in Photoshop or in Corel Draw, please go and watch my previous video. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to scale this up this way. All right. This is basically what I'm going to do. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select power clip. I'm going to place it into this frame just right there. And this is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select power clip. Edit power clip and leave that to that. So now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna reduce this by scaling it down a bit and I'm gonna push this to the left a bit. Now in this video you're gonna learn how to um, um, make use of um, double exposures like having a particular image and another image is revealing on that same image. Call it double exposure. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I want to use, first of all, let me um, check my outline color. So what I'm going to do now is I want to zoom out this way or zoom in, select my free house tool. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to put uh, a line here. You can basically follow my step, all right? Just follow my step. So just click and draw. You can use your pencil if you want, but like I said, make use of what works for you. So I'm making use of my uh, free hand suit. All right, I'm gonna drop over here, click again. All right, but for the sake of this, I'm not actually, um, as you can see, we are out of the line. So I'm just gonna come over to this place and um, just to save your time, I'm going to place over here, place over here, place over here, and I'm going to just drop that there. So if you look closely, I did not trace this place because we are out of the line. But if you have a case of tracing, like this place will be revealed. So what you're going to do is you have to trace this place also. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my shape tool, right click on this node and select to curve. Then bring this out. Right click on this, select to curve. I want to do this this way. Bring this one here. Do this just right there. I'm going to right click again, select to curve. Bring this one here. If you want to have this arrow that points out, just click on any of the nodes. You can see the arrows. So you can use the arrows to, if you remember the video, I taught you how to remove background. This was the step we used. So right click and select to curve and um, place this just right here. 
I click again the select to curve. Place this just right here. Right click and select to curve. Drag this out, place it here. Right click again, select to curve. You can use the arrow, just follow the shape you are seeing and um, get your, um, your lines, all right? Just follow the shape and get your lines. Like I said, we are trying to get double exposures for this. All right, so after making this design, I got the correction from the subscriber. As I said, the, the theme is not it is finished, but it is finished, right? Like there should be a ED. So I'm going to apply that to this design because I didn't, I didn't bother to correct it. I just learned it down my Instagram page. All right, so just follow what I'm doing and you know, in case you're confused, please drop me a comment in the comment section. All right, so this is basically what we're going to have. So we have the light over here and we have this. So now this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish and leave that to that over now. And uh, we'll select this background, this two background and um, and right click on it and select our uh, power clip then place it into this frame. Then right click and select a this part clip. Then the first background I want to use is this. So now in this case, I want it to flip to the right. So I'm going to use my mirror tool and flip it just this way. Then I'm going to um, drag this down this way and take it up a bit. I'm going to right click and select part clip then place it into this frame we just created. You see, that was the reason why I created this frame to have the double exposure, all right? I believe some of you have seen this in Photoshop designs and uh, you know, the designs some of the gurus are doing out there. So I'm gonna scale this up and lift that over there. So I'm gonna take this one behind, just right there. So I'm gonna use my transparency tool and fade out this edge to blend it to the background. All right, so that's what you're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, let me click on finish, so let's see what we have. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one up. All right, I'm going to take it up just right here. And this is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to bring in my track down rectangle tool and drop a box just right here. I want to use my eyedropper tool and pick a color from here. I want to pick this down uh, the dark one, place it just right here. All right, so I'm gonna use my knot and remove the black stroke. So I'm gonna use my transparency tool now and fade out this edge. And I'm gonna drag it up just right there to you know, blend with the background. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna just leave that to that. So let me bring this one down a bit. All right, so this is basically what you're gonna have for now, as you can see. So now to reveal our image, we're going to place some um, fading out here. So I'm going to select my transparency tool. Since we've faded out this edge, we're going to bitmap. All right, go to your bitmap. Resolution, leave it at 300 RGB color mode and click on OK. Now I'm going to select this and fade out this edge. All right. So I'm going to fade out this edge just right there. I'm going to select this one and fade out this edge this way. So what you're doing is you have to be checking to see what you have, all right? You have to be checking to see what you have in case you're in the right part. All right. So this is what we are having for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to select this again and flip it this way. Let's use 19 degree. So I'm going to bring this one over here. All right. I'm going to just scale this one up, bring this one here, and take it behind. All right. So this is basically what we're going to have. So let's click on finish and see what we have. All right. So I think we're coming there. So what I'm going to do is we see we have a black line over here. So I'm going to right click on this and select set down line corner so we have that out. So we're not going to see. So now I want to blend this over here now. I want to do something now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to my effects. Select 
you're selecting this actually go to effect adjust and um, but before then let's go to bitmap and select mode change it to grayscale come to effect select adjust and then go to brightness and contrast and you can increase this all right you can reduce the brightness and you can click on finish and this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on finish for now. All right. So this is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, I want to bring in this and uh, let's duplicate and place one over here. I'm going to use my shape too. All right. And um, let's take this one and remove this. Bring this one here. I'm going to place this rock over here. All right. I'm going to right click and select part tape, place it into this frame. Let's copy this and take it into the frame. All right. So we're into the frame now. So what we're going to do is, uh, sorry, over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place this one here. I'm going to come over to this, um, and shadow tool on the arrow, come over to this envelope select your envelope um delete this sorry don't delete slide do not destock so you're going to just all right we will just basically drag this in here okay so let's convert this to bitmap because it's kind of it's kind of affecting our all right so bitmap convert to bitmap now select your envelope too. If you like, you can delete it. It will not affect. So now you can drag this one here, drag this here out here. All right. So once you do that, you can basically nick that one there. And um, now I'm going to select my transparency to fit out this edge. It was right here. All right. So I'm going to come back to my effects. Select um color balance. All right, so I'm gonna leave that to minus 18, 13, and minus one. Then click on OK. You can copy that and leave that to that. So as you can see, I see the blood is coming from the body of um Jesus. All right. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this, and I'm gonna use my shape to drag this one. Drag this one and drag this one, drag this one here. All right, so you can basically delete this. You can put a knot here, put a knot, then bring it over here and down. Change. Okay, before then, let's convert to bitmap. All right, then use your envelope too and um, make it um, a light to the body over here. Now go over to your color balance effect and just color balance. All right, so you can leave that to that. Now leave that over here and uh, this is basically what you're gonna have for now. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this and put it into this frame. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is out. Uh, Okay, the color I'm making use of in this background, I don't want it to be white, so I'll basically select the color from here. All right, so I'll select the light color over here. So let me give it this color. I'm going to go over to my color thumbnail and change this to RGB. If you're printing this player, please make use of CMYK. I'm going to just adjust this color this way. All right. When I adjust this color, something with light, and that's fine. So click on OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, let me drag this one. I want this to be bigger and big enough. All right. So let's click outside and um, let's bring it in here. And that is it, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background all right i click on it and select power tape place it into the frame then right click again select um, power tape place it into this frame again 
Now you're going to drag this up just right here. Leave that to that. Select the transparency, go to image mode and change this to soft light. All right, let's try screen. Let's try overlay. So you can basically leave that to soft light. And that is basically what we're going to have. So I'm going to drag this one up and leave that to that. So people are finished. And that is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, first of all, I'm going to be map this. Then I'm going to fade out this edge because I want part of the head to show. All right. So let's click on finish and see. And that is it guys, that is it. So basically before that, Let's make sure. All right, let's make sure this is perfectly done. Just right there. So I'm gonna just place this one here, all right? So this is basically what you're gonna have for now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this one, all right? I'm gonna want to extract this. I'm going to select my curve shape tool and remove this and um, bitmap the image. Go to bitmap again, select mode, change this to black or white. Click on OK. Then um, select straight bitmap, select outline trace, line art. Wait for it to load. And this is it, guys. Now you can ungroup and um, select everything here and click on weld. Now you can Right click, select power clip, place it into this frame. All right, so this is what you're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna basically place this just right here. Place this and give it the same color we have. All right, so this is the same color we have. So before then, let's give it this, let's give it the white color first. Let's give it the white color. Now I'm gonna place one here. Just place one here, play around it guys. You can just basically play around it. And we'll just flip this one down here. All right, so this is basically what you're gonna have guys. This is what you are going to have. So I'm gonna bring in another one here. And we're gonna just leave that to that for now. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this one up. This is color gradient, which I downloaded from Google. I'm going to place this one in here and I'm going to place this overlay it. Then go to my, um, I transparency tool and select mesh mode, then change this to soft lights. So let's try overlay. Let's try screen. So we can leave that to soft lights. All right, so once I do that, I want to just go over to this and select my rectangle to place on a rectangle here. So I'm going to select my eyedropper to pick a color from here. All right, I'm going to pick up this color and place that just right here. And once we do that, this is not the color I will pick up shrink, so I will make use of this. Place it just right here. I use my transparency to fill out this edge. All right, bit map. Fill out this bond, and we're gonna leave that as so that. And um, let's let's review that a bit, and that is it, guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this over it this way. All right, so we will just place this over it and leave that to that. So let's click on finish and see what we have. So I'm gonna bring it this one we have and leave that to that, just like that. And this is basically what you are going to have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I wanna bring this one down a bit. All right, I wanna select this image then go to my effects, select adjust color balance. Once I do that, I'm going to come over to this and increase my color balance a bit. Increase my red. 
All right, then click on OK. Now I'm going to just place this one over here. And this is basically what you can have. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go over to this text. Copy. All right. Then I'm going to just place this text over here. Control V to paste. Then give it a white color so we can see. Now you can reduce this and place it just right there. So I'm going to click on the title. Cut it, paste it over here. Give it a black color. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this and select the name of this font. All right. I'm going to break this apart using Control plus K. I'm going to post, paste the name of the font over here. So you can download the name. You can download the font using the name. So I'm going to make sure this one of uh, capsule letter is in Shift F3. Just right there. Then I'm going to copy the next font, the name of the font, and paste it just right here and place that over there. So I'm going to click on this and scale this up. I'm going to use my shape tool and um, reduce the spacing just right there. And this is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to scale this one up, bring it down here, and place this one just right there. And this is what you are going to have. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this one over here and scale it up this way. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my interactive view tool draw this way then i want to select this node and pick a color pick a color from here just there and i'm going to just drag this one up i want just just a little and uh, not not that much on the, the side all right so this is basically what you're going to have for but this one i'm going to make use of this brownish color all right so change this to rgb make it brown a bit and this is what you are going to have so for this one you can leave that to that and click on those to drag it over here so i'm going to just drag this one up and leave that to that so the next thing i'm going to do is i want to copy the dates Paste it just right here. Give it a black color. All right. So I'm gonna use the same fonts. Break it apart. Bring this one down here. All right. So I'm gonna just paste this one this way and leave that to that. And I'm gonna give it a red color. So once I do that, I'm gonna place this one here. Mini string. So I'm gonna use my shape tool and drag this out just right here then i'm going to reduce this again bring this one down and this is what you're going to have so i want to copy the names you can use the names of the ministers and place them here and um, reduce the fonts change the fonts to this and um, place it over here and make it center alignment then you can decrease this one and um reduce it again these are the names of the ministers all right so once you're done with that this is basically what you're going to have so i'm going to come over to this copy the address all right and paste in just right here change the fonts to this give it a black color reduce the fonts i want to scale this one just right here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my shape tool again and scale out the address and leave that to that. So this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this one. Take it up a bit. Bring this one down. And I want to bring the church logo and place it just right here. And I'm going to reduce it just that and um, guys this is basically how we made this unique church flyer in color draw if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions please drop me comments in the comment section below see you guys in my next video